graduation requirements are changing for high school students after a bill approved by the House and Senate was signed into law by Governor Doug Ducey. Reporter Katrina Royals is tracking its impact. Well, Tweelon, that law makes Arizona the first state in the nation to require high school students to pass a civics exam in order to graduate. I spoke with students from Tempe's Corona del Sol High School about the new requirement. In Allison Run's AP government class, discussing politics is a daily expectation. We talk a lot in here about states and relation to the federal government. Everything they are learning in class are concepts that can be found on the civics exam. The new law will require high school seniors to pass the civics exam in order to graduate. It was supported by legislation for the impact it would have on students. That might enhance the, their civic awareness and then ultimately their civic engagement that seemed to us to be an important thing. These seniors in Ms. Run's class are part of the school program, We the People, that focuses on U.S. government. How many of you think you could pass the test? The civics exam includes multiple choice questions on topics ranging from politics, history, and geography. The new law won't impact these seniors graduating in May, but these students feel it's important for all to understand this material. The most important things about being a, a citizen is knowing how your government works. So we wanted to see just how students and even lawmakers would do on the test if they had to take it now. What is the rule of law? A. Everyone must follow the law except for the government. B. The president does not need to follow the law. C. The judges of the Supreme Court are above the law. D. Everyone must follow the law. D. The House of Representatives has how many voting members? There's 435 voting members. That would be C. Name one war fought by the United States in the 1800s. A. Indian American War. B. Spanish American War. C. Canadian American War. D. Gulf War. Is it A? <laughs> Students need to pass the test with a minimum of 60% correct. Exams are available online for free to test your knowledge. Students graduating with the class of 2017 can get a head start and begin studying. These are three questions from a sample test that we'll give you the answers to right after the break. Number one, what is the supreme law of the land? Number two, what is an amendment? Number three, who is in charge of the executive branch? Welcome back. Before the break, we showed you three sample questions from the civics test that future high school students will have to pass before graduation. We asked you to take a look at these questions and test your own U.S. civics knowledge. Now, here's a look at your answers. First, the Constitution is the supreme law of the land. Then, an amendment is a change or addition to the Constitution. And for the last one, the president is in charge of the executive branch. To find more questions, you can go to CronkiteNewsOnline.com. 